Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Giovanna and today, as you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be talking about PCOS and how kind of like the story on how I got diagnosed, I guess, and kind of moving forward and taking my body back and just understanding how my body um, works so that I can know how to treat it and I will be better at taking care of myself. So that's pretty much in a nutshell what we're gonna be talking about today. So let's get to it. All right, so let's just talk about it. I don't want to make this a sad video. I don't wanna make it, you know, like a soap opera or anything, um, but I'm just gonna quickly just kind of just give kind of bring you guys up to date because I have never spoken to the, I've, like I said in the intro, I've never spoken about it on camera before or anything so let me just speed you guys up because I've had this syndrome well not that I've had it for a year because who knows how long I've had it for um, but I've been diagnosed with it for over a year so let's just get into how I found out that I have PCOS so I made an appointment with my doctor last year 2020 ish um, yeah, the beginning of 2020 because I've been having irregular um, menstrual cycles and it was to the point where I wasn't having any at all. I had no periods, okay? I had no cycles. And so I explained this to my doctor and he wanted, and he wanted to run some tests um, and he also wanted to um, get me to do an ultrasound. So he ran the test and he was like, yeah, every, like all your blood levels, um, they seem fine. So um, let's just wait for your results for your ultrasound. So I went in, he read my results after he got them. And that's when he had diagnosed me with PCOS. And that day he just pretty much explained to me what it's like. Um, and a lot of the things that he was saying, I was like, oh yeah, that makes so much sense because I've, you know, I can totally attest that yeah that's this is what I've been going through and this is the part right here where I'm gonna just put a disclaimer that I'm no doctor I'm not gonna tell you exactly what PCOS means or is or um, anything like that so that's why I want to make a disclaimer like I don't want to mislead anybody ask your own doctor by no means like you're not here for <laughs> medical advice I'm just telling you you know exactly what I went through so yeah um he pretty much was just telling me like, okay, yeah, so the symptoms are, you know, irregular periods or non, not having no periods. Um, it's more difficult to carry children, um, to get pregnant, to conceive, and a number of other symptoms that go along with PCOS, which is um, easier to put on weight, easier, harder to lose weight. That's kind of like this point of the video. <laughs> That's kind of why I wanted to make this video because I have been struggling with some of the symptoms. Like I've been losing hair. I have like actual, my hair has been thinning. I had to cut it recently because my hair has been falling out. Um, and I'm going to see my doctor about that because I don't know if that's a symptom of my PCOS or if I have another thing going on, another something going on that's making my hair fall out. Um, so yeah, I been having, you know, um, weight issues as well. I've been gaining weight so much. And of course, when you don't feel good you don't you don't think good you're you're you know in a, in a very heavy dark mood um you don't feel your best you don't produce your best and it obviously you know tailspins into like your behavior and your attitudes about everything and everyone so um so yeah, this is why I wanted to make this video is that like I have PCOS and it's, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Like that's why I wanted to say like, it's, this is not a sad video. I don't want it to be a sad video. I want it to be an encouraging video and kind of just putting my story out there. Like, Hey girl, trust me. You're not alone. I'm going through this too. And let's get through it together. 
because I know with PCOS, another symptom is, like I said, it's harder to lose weight. And you kind of have to watch what you eat because our bodies aren't producing the same hormones as a person without PCOS. Yes, I have PCOS, but that is not everything that I, who I am. Yes, I have PCOS, but I want to be able to walk and to live my life um, and have my PCOS not be invasive and ruin my life pretty much. And that sounds so dramatic and I don't mean to smirk or anything or laugh because who knows, like you may be going through that. I personally, when I first heard the news, I'm not gonna lie, like I spent like a whole day crying. I didn't tell anyone. Um, I spent like a whole day crying because I was just like, what? Like so many questions, like a lot of questions I had answers to and a lot of more questions arise. Like, okay, so how do I begin to cope with what I, what, of, of P, how do I begin to cope cope with PCOS and now I have to kind of remember like I have to live through life knowing that I could possibly never have another child I could possibly you know develop other illnesses like other illnesses from you know these symptoms that PCOS you know causes you to have and so yeah, I was pretty depressed for like a whole day about it. And then it just hit me like in my spirit and my faith that I have in Jesus, you know, I knew that this wasn't gonna conquer me. This was another perspective of life that I'm experiencing and I'm not gonna let it defeat me or who I am. And this is just another thing that I'm gonna, you know, fight and battle through and I know that everything happens for a reason and so I wanted to make this video because I've been gaining weight like crazy and I know a lot of it has to do with me because I'm not as healthy I'm not healthy I don't exercise I'm getting older and I pretty sure the cliche is like once you hit your 30s like your body changes you know, you put on weight faster. And so I know it's a gaining weight is a normal thing as you get older because your bodies just don't function the same. Um, and I'm going to be 29 this year. So I'm blown away that I'm going to be 29 this year. But anyways, um, I kind of wanted to get my health on track and just because I have PCOS and I know that it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to lose weight, I'm not gonna let that deter me. Like it deterred me for months to the point where I gave up and I didn't care about monitoring or having self-control about what I ate. And so the reality of it is I gained weight like crazy because I gave up on myself. I gave up on myself and it hit me, I was like, I cannot, I cannot give up on myself. Like I've been through so much. I've worked so hard to get to this point of peace and healing um, about everything else that I went through in my past. Like I've gone through so much and this is not gonna deter me for, no like I'm not gonna let nothing deter me now. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna actually give my all to being healthy. I'm sorry, that's my daughter's laptop. I mean, tablet. Um, I'm gonna give my all into becoming the most healthiest version of myself. With PCOS or without PCOS, I need to make a decision to be healthy for the remaining points of my life because that's just who I am. Like, I wanna continue to get better as I progress. And, and so, I was like, oh my goodness, let's do it. And of course, and so I started to like want to, to you know, at least try <laughs> to eat better, like drink more water, stuff like that. And then one night, this is recently too, and I'm talking like a week ago recently. 
um i don't know why i just was feeling so oh because my hair was falling out like it's been going like on a month now that it's been falling out i'm putting on weight like crazy my hair's falling out like like it's just thinning like i don't know and so it hit me and i was just like such in a bad mood and i was looking and i was looking in the mirror and i have stretch marks where i never had them before and i've always been a bigger girl <laughs> like i've never been skinny or athletic or anything like that like i've always been pretty much a busy big big girl i've never had them before like i'm talking about like on my sides right here and right here i never had stretch marks right there and i seen them and i was just like oh my gosh like i was like javana bro like you let it get here like you let it get here and that's when it hit me i was like bro yeah stop the pity patter pity party little violins get up and put in the work because you know that this is not going to change unless you do and if that means you have to work double as hard to keep the weight off so be it stop complaining stop thinking about how hard it's going to be and just do it and so um it's not a f a for a disclaimer like i have nothing against stretch marks or anything like that it's just for me like the physical the physical kind of manifestation of what was happening on the inside for me like i don't care about the stretch marks like literally girl i have them like everywhere but in places that i've never seen before i was like okay yeah this is a re this is this is reaches a, this is a new low for me and let's do it like it it felt like a light went off and that was kind of like the motivation and the fire that kind of like totally made me gain this new perspective of like it's never too late this is a if these stretch marks are the physical evidence of what's going on inside imagine the physical evidence of what's going on inside now that I have this new perspective of how much things are going to change if I put the same energy into feeling sorry for myself if I put that same energy into actual making fuel and energy and productivity like working out and eating right and cooking healthier meals and all that good stuff like imagine how much better I would feel on the inside and eventually everything will change on the outside too but for the it's for the it's the it's on the inside for me <laughs> that I'm doing this and so um yeah so I started working out for like a week I'm like I said I'm not no expert <laughs> I'm very new um but I want to truly be dedicated I have planned out waking up early working out doing my bible study working um carrying on my day after that like I need to what for me the most important thing for me is bible study and then second is working out <laughs> So I need to like wake up earlier and stop sleeping in. I need to wake up earlier, do my workout first or my Bible study first, either one, or I can interchange them on different days or whatever the case may be. But those are the two things that I am going to put on top priority in my life. First off, Bible study and prayer and time with God. That's obviously number one. Like that's never changing. <laughs> And so just to add to that is working out now, like the first week that I worked out, I had two rest days and I, by the end of the week, I felt so much better. Like not even just, I, I couldn't see the physical change happening because obviously you need to work out longer for just a week to see any change. but just in my attitude towards myself started to change i felt more accomplished i felt like just already like a little ver a better version of me like i was chipping away the negative thoughts in my mind and just that made me feel better about myself and it just made me more confident to keep going 
and and girl I know once I see that physical change honey I'm just gonna keep on going even more and so yeah um I noticed that my problem area is like in my midsection right here that's like probably my biggest insecurity and my biggest issues like my midsection um and so I got a, a waist trainer and I am pretty much going to you know embed it in of course when I'm working out and stuff and I kind of wanted to unpackage it because I just I'm the type of person that if I write it down to my planner or if I tell somebody I'm hold accountable and so when I'm accountable to something I'm more responsible into living up to that responsibility and completing that task or goal whatever that I had that I have and so yeah that's kind of wanted to make this video is kind of like talk about you know me as a woman and me having this syndrome PCOS um and yeah and starting this new health journey I don't want to call it a workout journey or a weight loss journey I'm calling it a health journey because that's what it is for me a health journey Oh, and my doctor also said that um, when some of his patients that have PCOS, when they um, actually lose lose weight and excuse me, become healthier, the syndrome kind of reverses itself. And so that's a miracle <laughs> that I would love to see one day is this syndrome reverse and completely be destroyed and um so yeah um so yeah that oops my water so yeah that would have been awesome but i i obviously know like if 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 it does reverse and i never have this syndrome again or if i continue to live with it for the rest of my life like my body is literally just flesh here on this earth i have very strong i am a very strong believer in my faith in jesus and um everlasting life in him and so i when it comes to like my flesh and my body and stuff like all that i can do is just be the best version of myself and take care of my body the one that he gave me and that's what i want to do now and so yeah i bought a waist trainer it's kind of like my um encouragement to keep going and to kind of think of this as a health journey and not a weight loss um challenge or anything like that like i'm looking at the longevity of things and i want to make this a part of my lifestyle and so i want to unpackage that um waist trainer to kind of just put it out there and say look i am accountable i'm making this a concrete thing in my life and i'm going to dedicate it i'm going to dedicate to it and i'm going to be very dedicated about it and so yeah, let's unpackage that waist trainer. Let's move to the kitchen because I gotta, well, I guess I can open it here. But I'd rather stand up and open it, so yeah. Um, so yeah, like I said, the reason why I wanna show you this is because I'm excited for it. And the reason why I wanna show you this waist trainer is because I'm excited for it. And if you're looking for one, or if you see the, this one particular that you want to get, um, you can look at it before you buy it. Okay, so I have the waist trainer right here. It came from Walmart. And let me give you some specs on it. So I got the 3XL. I don't know if I got a size too big, but it goes by like inches and like your waist. And I don't have, um, what is the thing where you measure your waist? anyways yeah I don't I don't I don't know my measurements per se in inches so that didn't help me so anyways but I just went by slight like but I just went by like sizes of clothing so I got a 3xl which some of my pants so some of my shorts are 3xl and some of my shirts that fit kind of loosely but still kind of snug um depending on brand are 3xl so I was just like let me just get the 3xl one and because girl like I said I'm a beginner and not to mention like my mid 
section is like the biggest part in, of my entire body. Like the proportions of my body, the midsection for me is the biggest. So I got the 3XL one. So let's open her up. Oh my gosh, it's so official. <gasps> All right, this is what it looks like. I think I did get a size too big. I use mine. Is it yours? Okay, no, I think this will do. This will do. Okay, I thought it was gonna be too big, but no, this is fine. This is the side, and this is the front get it too big oh no no I it was right <laughs> I don't know if you can see no that's this is this is gonna be good okay <sighs> I'm excited so yeah I opened it on camera so I can show you and declare we can do it together that we're going to put our bodies first our health first Make it a priority. We only get one body. Let's treat it right. Don't give up on yourselves. It's okay if you start small, if you start slow, continue to build up your confidence. And But I wanted to tell you why I'm going to start this health journey. My fitness workout life journey, <laughs> pretty much just to get healthy, knowing that I have PCOS and knowing the kind of different challenges that I'm gonna be, have, that I'm gonna be facing. Um, I'm not gonna let it deter me from living my most healthy, best life, especially that I'm getting older now. I'm not saying that 29 is older by no means, girl. However, I am saying that it's time. I put it off for way too long now and it's time. So I'm excited that I know this waist trainer is gonna fit and I'm just excited to have this confidence to actually move forward and believe in myself and believe in my body that I can transform. I can do anything that I put my mind to. And it's not about living with PCOS, it's about knowing my body and what works for it. Okay, that's the main thing that I want to get through my own head and I hope that encourages you is that it's not about the conditions that you are living with in your body, but it's how you maneuver your life around your own body. That's the most important thing is that we all have different bodies and the most important thing is treating ourselves right and having grace on ourselves and not to never give up because girl, if you can never give up on your body, it does not matter who else does, okay? If you never give up on your dreams, it doesn't matter who else does or doesn't. And I hope that if you are, you know, if you have this, if you have the same syndrome or if you're, if you have the same condition, let me know down in the comments because I would love to get in contact with you so we, that we can just build each other up and so that we can relate to each other about it. So subscribe and like my video. That would mean the world. And until next time, bye guys.